Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 30th of 2021. Well, it is titled Aurora Shock Aurora. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken from Sweden of the Aurora. And the Aurora is the greenish glow that we sometimes see in the sky when a solar storm and material from the sun strikes the Earth's magnetic field and then funnels into the atmosphere near the magnetic poles. It can excite oxygen atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere and cause them to glow, giving off the distinct greenish glow that we associate associate with an aurora. Now in this one we actually see a panoramic view and you can note if you divide this down the middle it's actually mirrored so you'll see it two sides put together to give it a, a pattern of say an ink blot and when you try to look at it you will likely make some kind of patterns perhaps faces within the aurora there. Now it's not that there are actually faces in it but that our minds like to put a sense to randomness. So when we have relatively random patterns then we try to put some kind of uh, coherence to them and put them as to with something that we happen to try to recognize such as a face. And that's what you likely see here as you look within the image here of the aurora. The auroral glow itself, of course, is completely random. Now we put some pattern to it by mirroring it, giving it a symmetry uh, over on the left and the right side that are completely mirrored. And that may help give it to the symmetric pattern that we see in a face. But overall, again, it is just a random pattern and our minds are trying to put some kind of sense to it. And here we get this nicely framed in this image that has been kind of folded digitally to give us the appearance of an ink blot. Now the aurora are actually very common on Earth and are getting more common now as the sun is becoming more active. The more active the sun is, the more solar storms there are to send out those charged particles. So for the last few years, while we were near solar minimum, we had very little auroral activity. Now we're starting to see more and more as the sun moves into its active phase over the next few years. And we'll likely get to see more and more aurora and stronger aurora and begin to see them at lower latitudes. Normally we see them at very high latitudes like Sweden here in Scandinavia or places like uh, Alaska or northern Canada. However, over the coming uh, years, we will likely get stronger storms, which will actually uh, make them visible at lower latitudes, giving more people a chance to be able to see sites like what we are looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for October 30th of 2021. It was titled Aurora Shock Aurora. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the dark matter of Halloween. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.